On the field here with Coach Rakuya after the game. Coach, terrific start to start this final weekend series. Just if you would talk about it. Great start as always from Ridgely here on a Friday, on a Thursday, I should say. Yeah, Ridge was really good. You know, to be quite honest with you, his last three or four starts haven't been real clean and uh, just fastball command wasn't good. And uh, tonight it was fastball command was plus, which set up obviously his ability to throw changeups uh, when he needed them. He was really clean, really good. Obviously, we could have went, you know, a complete game with him, but. Uh, you know, we have uh, a tournament to play for, and he need, he's been on short rest two times. He'll be on short rest two times. So keep his pitch count down, and uh, we extended Zurak a little bit more than normal only because uh, he's a potential starter in the tournament also. So we wanted to get his pitch count up a little bit. And uh, so both those guys will be done for the weekend, but that's okay. I mean, that's we're setting ourselves up for the tournament and to try to win a championship. I was going to ask you about that, the plan went in place, except for maybe Kyle maybe pitching an inning too long maybe. And, you know, you could go back, and you couldn't really do it over again, but I didn't know how the plan was playing out for you. Well, to be honest with you, I wanted to, I wanted to pitch him in the sixth and uh, to split the game, but Ridge had kept his pitch count down. So, uh, so we didn't go to him in the sixth, and, uh, you know, so that was kind of the plan going in, uh, just like they did. I mean, their guy didn't yeah. need to be pulled, but they, you know, they're setting themselves up for the tournament too. So. But you know what? All four guys that towed the rubber today were were electric. Their fastballs were fastball command was good. They you know, and uh, any time that you can get ahead of hitters and you got a chance to put them away, and Zerak did with the slider. All right, coach. Good start here tonight. Good luck keeping it going here tomorrow. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. He's rested and ready to go. Nice to see him roaming his usual spot in right field, and he drills this one down the right field line. Will it stay fair? It is a home run. Welcome back, Adam Whitaker. His second of the season. He pulled it down the left field line. See? Told you it was good to have Whit back in the lineup, and it's one to nothing, Highlanders. All right, Rick Watson here on the field, joined now by Adam Whitaker. And have yourself a game, young man. Of course, you had the knee issue. Take us back, first of all, to last weekend against High Point in that first game. You went after that fly ball. How did you feel after that? Was it a knee situation for you? Uh, it was actually the outside of my ankle. And uh, earlier in the season, I tweaked it. At coming up to first base and so I just reoccurred an injury but uh shift gotta give thanks to him he <laughs> taped it really tight tonight and it helped me out a lot well no doubt about it you got off to a great start comfortable at home plate how did it feel hitting your second home run that ball got out here in a hurry uh, it felt really good it was a change but it just helped me stay back on it but I think my best at bat of the game was the one where I was two strikes found off those pitches that really was seeing the ball well today well coach talked about that he saw it last weekend against high point you guys working counts, taking pitches that you should be taking. Maybe that's starting to come now at the right time of the season. Oh uh, Yes, sir. We just work on it every day, just staying back on balls, trying to work backside. That's really, I really changed my approach. I spread out more, trying to hit balls backside way back. Early in the season, I was kind of leaning forward, but I'm really trying to work on staying back and hitting the ball backside hard. All right, before we let you go, let's talk about that final out. Now, you got the second out as well in front of the 370, so you were kind of loosening up, ready to go. When did you see it, and when did you realize you're going to have to make the swan dive? Uh, off the bat, I kind of knew that I was going to be right on the line. And in practice, I practice diving all the time. It's like my favorite thing to do. So it really, right when I saw it in the air, I knew that it was my time to dive and catch that ball. Well, congratulations staying in the lineup. Stay healthy for the rest of the year, young man. Great job here tonight. Thank you. Pitch. Swung on and missed to change, and it's strike three. All right, Rick Watson here on the field, joined now by tonight's starter and winner, Zach Ridge. Zach, first of all, congratulations. You could tell early on you were feeling. How did it feel tonight, your final start of the regular season? Um, it felt really good. You know, I was coming out there with a little bit of confidence. I was trying to be able to fill up the zone, a little bit of a bounce back from last week, and um, I felt really good going into the game. Had a lot of confidence behind me. What was the difference tonight? Because Coach Rakuya talked about the last few starts, maybe you didn't have the kind of stuff that you showed here tonight. Um, I'm not really sure. I feel like um, I just came out and I really focused in on my bullpen rather than um, trying to focus on getting stronger or something like that. I took it a little bit easier this week and I f focused a little bit more on my pen Took a little and took a light day and I felt really good coming out. Now you had a plan here tonight. You knew you were coming out. You thought maybe you'd come out in the fifth, but you were throwing so well. The pitch count was down. You came out in the sixth. But how tough is it to leave the hill when you're throwing so well? I did not want to leave, but I knew <laughs> since I'm going to have to bounce back again on Tuesday, especially after coming off another short rest again today, I knew that coach was going to pu pull me here sooner or later. So. Well, let me ask your approach now finally before we let you go. You guys as a team, you clinched the tournament last weekend, but anything can happen. I mean, one through eight, this thing's going to be wild, and, and Radford's playing as well as anybody right now. Yeah, I think we're playing really well. We're starting to figure it out a little bit. We're still throwing a lot of strikes, keeping the walks down, and we're, making, we're playing really well defense, and we're hitting when we need to. 
So I think I think we're going to go into the tournament with a lot of confidence behind us. I don't think there's any question about it. Zach, congratulations on getting the win here tonight. Thank you.